I'm Vitsa from Google Cloud. And I'm Ivan. Today, we're going to explore evaluation of open LLMs. If you've ever wondered how to measure the quality of your model's output or compare different models head to head, you're in the right place because we'll be getting hands on with the Vertex AI Gen AI evaluation service. We will guide you through our Google Colab notebook, which you can find linked in the description. By the end of this video, you will be able to set up and run evaluation, assess different metrics, and even know how to automate the process with Vertex AI pipelines. So to start, let's set up our environment. I already installed Vertex AI SDK and restart the runtime. Great, and I've already deployed a Vertex AI endpoint. It's using a hugging face deep learning container with the Gemma 2 model. I covered this in a previous video. You can find the link to the full playlist in the description below. So Ivan, we've got Gemma up and running. What should we evaluate? Let's test Gemma's summarization skills. Sounds good, let's go. We will use a sample from the XSAM dataset. It's a standard dataset for single document summarization. Ah, that's right. That's a data set on the Hugging Face Hub with BBC News articles and their one-sentence summaries written by the original authors. That's a great choice. Exactly. Now we need to prompt Gemma to create a one-sentence summary so we can compare it with the reference summary and calculate metrics. Here, we define a model function to prompt Gemma. It formats the prompt for the model and send it to Gemma for prediction. That looks great. Let's see if it works and ask Gemma this classic question, why is the sky blue? And Gemma delivered. This is like the hello world of LLMs. I've never been more aware of Rayleigh scattering than in this year. You got it. So now let's define a prompt template to generate that one sentence summary. I see, that's uh, summarize the document in one sentence. And this document is pasted in during evaluation. Correct. The Gen AI evaluation service prompts Gemma to generate summaries and computes metrics to tell us how good they are. Speaking of metrics, we have a lot of options. There's Rouge, F1 score, fluency, coherence, safety, and many more. Can you tell me more about those? Rouge and F1 scores are computation-based metrics. They compute similarity between the generated and the reference summaries. And what about those other metrics? Oh, they are interesting. Those are model-based metrics. They use another LLM as a judge to evaluate the quality of the summaries. Oh, I like that. So with these model-based metrics, we're getting a more intelligent judgment. Exactly. As an example, this is the prompt Vertex AI uses for assessing coherence. You can see that we are asking Gemini to provide a rating according to some criteria and an evaluation receipt. You can also create custom metrics by providing your own prompt. That makes sense. And Gemini is trained to be a judge, so it will be good at providing those ratings. Exactly. These model-based metrics can be evaluated in two ways, point-wise and pair-wise. Point-wise means the judge model assess each summary individually. And pairwise, as the name implies, means comparing two summaries head-to-head -head and picking one winner. Okay, so let's run the evaluation using the eval task class. First, create an eval task by providing a data set, the list of metrics, and the experiment name. And then when you call evaluate, you provide the model function, that's the function that calls Gemma, the prompt template, and a name for the evaluation run. Yes, and you can find the evaluation result in Vertex AI experiment using that name. That's the experiment tracking services on Vertex AI. Okay, let, let's run it. We'll e evaluate just 15 rows for this demonstration. And there you have it. After running the evaluation, you get back the result. You can use it to inspect individual ratings and view aggregated metrics. And you can also visualize it with radar plots and bar charts, right? Exactly. This experiment you just created now shows up in the experiment view, enabling you to track configurations and results across multiple runs. That is fantastic. But manually running evaluations every time can get tedious, right? Absolutely. To streamline evaluation, you can use Vertex AI Pipeline to automate the workflow. This is how it looks. Hey. Oh, that's amazing. 
This tutorial is a great starting point for anyone exploring Gen.AI evaluation with Vertex AI. Yeah, I agree. And this isn't just about summarization like we did today, right? The evaluation service has many more use cases. You can use it to choose the best model for a specific task by comparing different models head to head and see which one performs best on your data sets. Or compare the results of a fine-tuned model with the, its base model and see if the fine-tuning improved the performance. And don't forget about optimizing generation settings. You can have experiments with different temperature values. Or what about uh, evaluating different versions of the same prompt? Or when you want to upgrade to a newer version of a model? Yep, those are great use cases to evaluate. So whenever you are choosing a model, fine-tuning a model, or writing the perfect prompt, the Gen AI Evaluation Services has you covered. Thanks for joining us. Be sure to check the description for links to the Colab Notebook and many other resources. See you in the next one.